and welcome back to my channel so I haven't actually filmed a video in like forever and that's because I've been having GCSEs but finally my GCSEs are over and I'm now on summer holidays and today is the 24th of June and it's actually prom day yay I'm so excited for prom the time is now one o'clock or like nearly one o'clock and I'm just gonna start getting ready this morning I've kind of been prepping myself a little bit so on Friday I got my nails done really really like them because this is not like a proper silver it's like a really nice like whitey silver also painted my toenails because they were gross <laughs> I also put fake tan on so I've never actually fake tanned before and I use this Bondi Sands one which is my sister's and it's in ultra dark so I'm a bit nervous how this is going to turn out but it's one of those ones you use and then you wash out and because I forgot to do it yesterday it says you're meant to leave it on for six hours and mine's definitely not going to be on for six hours so that was a bit of a gamble but I'm just going to start doing my makeup now it's probably quite early but I just need to get it done because my friends are coming around at like six-ish so I need to be ready by then I'm just using the Sophie Does Nails palette it's her new palette and I'm just putting cookie dough in the crease a iconic London brush. Now I'm going to take my NYX brush and this is from Primer and you basically just rub your brush on it and it gets rid of the previous colour you had on there because I don't want red going on my eye. From her other palette, what colour is it? Mug Cake, which is this brown here. My crease. It's just a little bit of a more fluffy brush whereas the iconic one's quite dense because obviously I haven't practiced this before or oh, I mean it's not obvious because people practice their makeup before but I've just never have so it's kind of just winging it okay I'm now just gonna deepen that up even more with my Morphe M507 brush which is just a little bit pointy okay I'm just gonna rub that off and I'm gonna go back into her new palette and I'm going to go into a dark brown called brownies and then she blend that out again by the way I have no idea what I'm actually doing I have no idea when it comes to makeup. I'm just like, blend, blend, blend. Hopefully it'll go right. So I just like basically cut my crease with the um, NC20 Slick Concealer. It's just like a little sample I had um, from MAC. And then I blended out the edges using this Ted Baker brush. Um, and now I'm just going to spray this brush. I don't know where this is from, but it's like a little flat brush with um, MAC Fix Plus just to wet it and then now I'm going to use my um, Morphe 35 OS palette which looks like this and it's like I think I'm going to use this colour here so I have put quite a lot on my brush and I'm scared we've just got to see what happens okay yeah this is pretty it looks like a foil almost it's really pretty blend out so i'm gonna take my little fluffy brush from nyx again clean off the brown and dip it into the shade pat it around the edges see if that works kind of it's the soap and gray super cap um eyeliner and it's really really good but it just takes me a while and I feel like if I mess the eyeliner out, I have to redo my whole eyeshadow, so. Okay, I've now done my eyeliner, and it took me, I'm not even joking, like 20 minutes to do my eyeliner, and I'm still not happy with it. So thick, like I wanted it to be quite dainty, but it's just gone really thick wing, but I'm hoping once I put eyelashes on, it gets a bit better. Now, I do normally use a different primer, but I thought, you know, being fancy and all that, I'm going to use this little sample from MAC. Um, Mac Prep and Prime. I'm just, uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna put that on my skin. Oh god, I put a bit too much on. Take my foundation, which is the Rimmel Match Perfection Light Nude, and just squirt two squirts of that onto the back of my hand. On your bare face illuminator. And add a bit of this because you want to be all like glowy in that. Use this iconic London. It's like a flat brush. I've still got so much in my hand. Okay. 
I definitely put too much on. Oh, it's all kind of my hair. Don't forget to go on my ears. I actually hate that feeling. I look good contour. I don't do concealer yet, but I take the Revolution Concealer and Define in the colour C14 and this brush that was from Primark, but it's actually really good. Um, and I just put this. I do it because it goes a bit messy, so I like to do my concealer to tidy it up. And you literally don't need a lot. Like that's gonna go so far. Like that's more than I usually put on, but I want to put a bit more on today. But it goes so far. Uh, can you see it's already? Kind of just doing it there. And that's actually quite nice. I quite like how it's turned out. But you can see how quick that was. And see a lot I use. Again, a bit in C C2. Uh, I just put this in triangles. And it's just like a plain one like this. It's a bit dirty. But I like this and you just just to blend it out initially. So I just put, put, put my Laura Mercier powder on because I feel like you've got to set it otherwise it's not gonna last all night. So I'm just gonna actually properly bake it this time because normally I just wipe it off like once I put mascara on or something but this time I'm actually gonna leave it for a while. I'm gonna contour my face again. So I'm using the Zoeva Contour Spectrum palette and I'm going to use this cooler toned one. I say that thinking now I know what I'm talking about. And I'm using the Iconic London angled brush. And then I'm going to go into the warmer toned one. I think it's meant to be a bronzer, but I still use it as a contour. And use that on the top of my head. And I'm going to put it down. Contouring the nose is really difficult. This blush brush from Real Techniques. MUA bronzer which is one pound. It's actually really good. And I'm just gonna, cause I feel like my face is a bit of a different color to my legs right now. <laughs> so this should help bring it back to life. I go and spray my face with the Max Fix, uh, Fix Plus, just like on my cheeks. to dampen it a bit then I'm going to take the iconic London fan brush this is literally amazing look how big it is the Mary Lou highlighter it's literally like the only highlighter I use and even though you think this isn't going to do it it actually fits on quite precisely it's so pretty which is like this kind of brush and put that on as well Oh no, I forgot to do my set my eyebrows. So I use the Miss Sporty Clear Mascara and I just set my eyebrows in place. Got the Iconic London. I feel like I made a bit of an Iconic London thing. And I'm gonna use this. It's actually amazing. It's so crazy. I'm scared. Ooh. Smells really nice too. That's plus sets it a bit better. just got to put my dress on so I've done my eyes now and I've got my eyelashes on which my sister helped me put on which I feel really weird um and she also curled my hair um even though my hair's curly but it looks better and also straightened the first bit excuse what I'm wearing I still need to get changed these are my nails up close a bit better I really really like them and this was the tan I used so I've showered with this and it's in ultra dark like seriously <laughs> but yeah I'm wearing these earrings which I think I've had for ages since like Claire's or something um but they're quite like delicate and yeah 
Look at you, you're really blossomed, you have. Blossomed. She blossomed <laughs> like a blossomed lady. Thank you. 